welcome to yet another episode of junior intermediate junior english on e-learning platform of alfos educational institutions dear students today we discuss a prose lesson given under module module 2 under unit 5 aim for the stars an interesting episode an article taken from the internet given here for junior english study this is an article from the internet adapted here for the young minds This article as the title tells aim for the stars is an inspiring episode to the youth it's all about today's role model for the youth of india hope you know the name it's none but saina nehwal the role model for the youth of india we call her a hyderabadi but was she born in hyderabad all the details through the essay she was the she is a wonder girl who brought laurels to the country she is the pride of hyderabad pride of india in 2012 when her dream came true through london olympics it was a moment of pride for indians when saina the wonder girl got on to the podium to receive the medal the first olympics medal in badminton for an indian students welcome to this inspiring episode titled aim for the stars as i told you this is about the wonder girl saina nehwal the badminton champion this is an article adapted from internet you know students when saina was 8 years old an age in which almost all children will be deep asleep a little girl in hyderabad a little girl in hyderabad would get up at 4 am saina's father harveer singh harveer singh he would pick her by her bike and move towards lal bahadur stadium in hyderabad and then you know it was 25 kilometers of distance to lal bahadur stadium from their house harveer singh on her on his bike picked her and by bike they reached lal bahadur stadium the sleepy girl carried two bags with her one contained school books the other contained badminton equipment badminton equipment sometimes saina's mother usha rani she was a badminton champion in her youth she used to sit beside be, sit behind her on the bike because she had a fear that her daughter early morning at 4 am very sleepy would fall down from the bike from the bike in her sleepy mood out of this fear often usha rani sat on the bike to make it sure that her daughter did not fall off from the bike thus every day harveer singh took saina nehwal to lal bahadur stadium there she underwent two hours of hard training 
two hours of training there and then from there straight to the school but that was not all in the evening when saina returned home there was the special training by her mother usha rani who herself was a coach or sorry was a champion in her youth she would coach her in the techniques of badminton thus with the support and intense sacrifices of parents saina nehwal gradually comes up in her life children mind the immense sacrifice that parents harveer singh and usha rani put together to give their daughter the best training possible how much strain how much pain they underwent the struggle and sacrifices of the parents when combined with the discipline the champion saina nehwal ross students thus every day she went this hard schedule in her life and back home every day when mother trained her mother trained her she always dreamt of one thing olympic olympic medal that was the only dream of that was the only dream of her mother with such a dream she gave training gave tips and techniques on badminton to her daughter saina children the dream came true in 2012 in 2012 when in london olympics saina broke the record and became the first indian badminton player to win a medal in the olympics it was indeed a special and proud moment for all indians when saina stood on the podium to receive the bronze medal students that was not all the best was yet to come in 2015 saina was ra- ranked number 1 in the world by the world badminton federation saina was ranked number 1 in the world by the world badminton federation after that she clinched the indian open badminton super series she clinched the super series and she is the second indian to achieve it after pragash padukone in 1980 yes an indian pragash padukone won in 1980 and she was the second saina was the second indian to achieve such a ranking in super series to tell about other achievements other achievements she received or she got in her life the first indian to win world junior badminton championship in 2008 she won a super series tournament in 2009 she won the gold in the commonwealth games in 2010 good god they are too numerous to be listed out her achievements are too numerous to be listed out thus the upcoming saina nehwal from hyderabad made a dramatic and sensational entry into the international badminton circuit that was in 2006 in 2006 she made a dramatic entry the girl with a charming smile and quite assurance she was seated a lovely 86th she was seated a lovely 86th for the philippines open tournament the first international tournament she participated in but she was not disappointed in the world tournament in the international tournament when she won 86th the lovely 86th in the philippines open tournament she did not bend instead she stormed the court 
defeating formidable players from Malaysia and Germany. The first Indian woman to win a four-star badminton tournament. You know children, at the time, Saina was 16 years old. Just 16. Her coach, Pullela Gopichand, hope you know students, he himself was a uh, former world champion. Pullela Gopichand, how happy he had been. He promised that Saina is a promise to the country. She would climb the ladders of success in sports, in badminton championship. Her coach predicted. Do you know students? India is a country where cricket players are defied, seen like gods. Their achievements are always praised. Whereas the other sportsmen, they are largely ignored. Largely ignored in India. But with the coming of Saina Neval, the entire scenario in India changed. Sports like tennis, badminton, kabaddi, etc. began getting due importance in our country. And it is not only she, it is not only Saina, there are other a few other sports persons too who attributed to this super performance, to this consideration in India. Like, if I say the names, like Sania Mirza, our Saina Neval, then P.V. Sindhu, as such the names go. These people brought credit to the ignored sports in India, sports and games in India. Like many other sports persons, Saina was talented in other fields also. Do you know students? Saina was very skilled in karate. She won a brown belt and after that she wanted to produce, uh, she wanted to uh, proceed in the field but she was introduced to karate at the very early age and she had to abandon it because she was told that as a part of training for the black belt, the instructor would run a motorbike over her. This made her abandon karate. Students, I told you that Saina Neval, today we call her a Hyderabadi. But do you know, she was not born in Hyderabad. She was born in Haryana, in Haryana state, Hisar, a state which has the worst male-female, the worst male-female ratio. Do you know children? The male-female ratio in uh, Haryana, for 1000 males, 879, 879 males. See the figures? These figures clearly tells us what happened there in that state. The untold, untold tales of female feticide, untold tales of female feticide and infanticide is very clear here. In such a state, Haryana, in Hisar, she was born. When she was born, do you know children? She was the second, second daughter born to her parents. Her grandmother, when she was born, did not even look at the child. Did not even look at the child for one month. Do you know why? Yes, as I told you, 
second daughter born to the family as you know women or daughters were not much accepted in haryana first one was a female child when a second child was born it was more than that they could bear grandma did not even look at the child for one month an unwanted child saina nehwal was but she became the most wanted and loved daughter of hyderabad today later in 1998 when saina was almost 8 years old maybe family shifted to hyderabad from haryana why you know harveer singh her father saina's father got a transfer got posted as a scientist in icar hyderabad indian council of agricultural research in the icar harveer singh was posted as a scientist this posting made saina's family moved to hyderabad that's how saina today he is known to be a hyderabadi luckily fortunately saina's parents were really doing their level best for her they left no stone unturned in helping their daughter to realize her goals see the support of parents they left no stone unturned in helping her to realize her goals in life such was the commitment and the faith parents had in their child students remember for a while when parents have faith in children faith in their children's abilities commitment towards children they would certainly come up in life that is what we see here you know harveer singh even withdrew the bulk of his provident fund savings provident fund savings for saina's sake because when saina wanted training in badminton to buy to buy the things to buy the equipment he withdrew the provident fund to give the best training for her see that father's sacrifice did not go in vain children it did not go in vain not only is saina world famous today but also you know she earns crores of rupees in endorsements in advertisements at that time in recognition of her talent bharat petroleum bp bharat petroleum offered her a job when saina was just 14 years old see an age she had not even completed ssc when she was 14 years old bharat petroleum offered her a job yet another feather to her cap yet another achievement in her life today saina is designated as deputy manager deputy manager at bharat petroleum she has also received several sports persons awards one arjuna award in 2009 students you know these things but i repeat arjuna award in 2009 the outstanding national sports persons award and then she received rajiv gandhi khel ratna in 2010 in the consecutive year the highest prestigious award in sports later she was conferred padma shri a prestigious civilian award that was in 
A few years later, in 2016, she got the Padma Bhushan. Every occasion she received the honor, she received the awards, she acknowledged that all these accomplishments would not have been possible without the tremendous support, without the tremendous encouragement she received from her parents. Every moment she received the awards, she acknowledged the tremendous effort and support of her parents. Students, to achieve something, we must lo lose something. This was true in the case of Saina too. Saina had to undergo a number of compromises in life. A number of compromises. You know, unlike you, Saina was a bright student. But she was unable to complete her intermediate. She was unable to complete her intermediate because the grueling schedule, training period or some games in the foreign countries stopped her from attending the classes and very often when she has a match she could not attend the exams even when public exams were going on she would have been in another country playing a game even today Saina regrets it that she could not complete her intermediate regularly. She missed the exams. It is a lasting regret in her heart, even today, children. Thus, she had to quit her studies. And she went punishable schedule, grueling schedule, very hard schedule she underwent to come up in her life. You know, every day she practiced the eight hours, eight hours to play the game of one hour. She says, I train for eight hours a day so I can play that one hour in the tournament at my peak ability, at my top ability, Saina says. That was another compromise she had to do. Yet another comprom uh, compromise that she had to do was, you know, she liked and loved chocolates a lot. She was a chocolate girl. But as a sports person, she was not allowed to take too many chocolates and ice creams. Even her mother's favorite Alu Paratas. Alu Paratas. She is a Hydra, she is a Haryana girl. And naturally, they were tender to. This was her, was her favorite food. But there too, she had a strict check on her diet. Strict check on her diet. Once, when she was to Malaysia for a tournament, uh, that time, her dietitian did not accompany her. During the trip to Malaysia, she put on, she put on 7 kg weight as she deviated from her diet a little. She put on 7 kgs of weight as she deviated from her diet. But after that, she was not allowed to take anything without the permission of her coach. Thus, coach strictly restricted her towards her diet. Because, you know students, any sports person has to remain in form. To remain in form, they should have limits of physical and mental endurance. So, for this, she had to undergo number of compromises in life. 
again. The wonder girl, though she came up to the height of world class, international level champion, do not forget that there were bad days, dark days, lean patches in her life too. There was a time when she completely lost faith in her ability, lost faith in her talent. It was almost in 2013. You know, children, in 2013, most of the matches she played, she lost. Very disappointing. She lost most of the matches she played. Her rankings plummeted, came down. Critics nearly wrote her off, ignored her. Everybody, everybody criticized and said, no more, better, Saina, quit the field, quit the track, quit your sports. Really, it was a time of trouble, but she persisted, stubbornly persisted. Even for a while, she thought of leaving, quitting the game altogether, but she did not. She stubbornly persisted and devoted herself to the task of improving, improving her, improving her skill, honing her skill. And thus, just a year later, just a year later, like the proverbial phoenix, like the proverbial phoenix, Saina rose from the ashes of dejection and defeat. Saina rose from the ashes of dejection and defeat. Students, beautiful words used here. And see the comparison? I say again, just a year later, like the proverbial phoenix. Have you heard of phoenix? Phoenix is a uh, mythical bird, children. Mythical bird. Only exists in myth, not a real, thing, real bird. It is believed that this mythical bird named phoenix lives 500 to 600 years. Then it jumps into, falls into the burning pyre, P-Y-R-E, burning pyre. Pyre means where the dead body is burnt, as per tradition. The bird, after living for a long 500 to 600 years, the bird jumps into burning pyre and turns to ashes. From ashes, from ashes, Phoenix rises again with as a renewed youth and comes back to the life cycle. The same we see in Saina Neval also. In her dejection and defeat, in the pyre of dejection and defeat, Saina was burnt and from that pyre, Shaina, Saina again takes a rebirth from the ashes of dejection and defeat. She rises again, rises again with renewed youth coming back to her life cycle. Comparison to mythical bird, Phoenix. Students, to you, to the youth today, Saina has a word of advice to, to the youngsters. The wonderful advice, the piece of advice Saina gives to the youngsters. She appeals to everybody, set lofty goals in life. Lofty goals, higher goals in life. Dream big because big dreams fills you with the hunger to achieve it. You will have the hunger to achieve that big dream. Then with that hunger, you add hard work too. Hunger and hard work. Hunger for achieving the greatest. Hunger for achieving the highest. 
and dream when put together hard work and this hunger when put together your dream will become fulfilled in life and if you work hard luck is yours luck will follow surely follow those who work hard in life when saina was playing in the national she thought of striving to become a player in the international level when she was playing in the international level she was thinking of redoubling her efforts and coming to a world class champion thus he becomes a world class champion children dream big dream big work hard this is the word of advice for today's youngsters to you by saina nehwal ha, there is a popular saying children aim for the stars and you will at least reach the tree top it's a very famous saying i repeat aim for the stars and you will at least reach the tree tops when you dream big you may reach somewhere though you cannot reach where you really dreamt if you dream low you can reach nowhere but a chosen few selected few like saina nehwal they aim for the stars and they reach the stars we aim for the stars we reach at least to the tree tops but a few exceptional persons like saina aim for the stars and reach the stars students the wonderful article taken from the internet about this wonderful woman the role model of youngsters today the wonder girl of hyderabad who brought laurels to hyderabad especially to india our country is no doubt a pillar of support and encouragement an inspiration to each and every youngster in india follow her in sports or whatever your dream may be dream high achieve high here ends the article aim for the stars a brief biographical sketch of saina nehwal here i conclude this episode thank you very much